Good evening. Hi, how are you? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yep. Yeah. Good, good. Okay. Let's get the screen here. I'm a gimmel. I'm a gimmel. Okay, Monsieur uh, Nebesh, Madison Gijay Harbona, Rosh Lamosa. Monsieur Nebesh is an integral component of Avoda of, of Hashem and its completion. The Mama of the Veno Inyan, he cannot smoke with Shloshet Bar, the Doran, the Til and Muhammad. Yaakovil prepared some of those three things before many insults. The Veno Dime Ramban, she insults with an ace. The Veno brought the words of Ramban. Then we learn miracle of Chayyim Shtana, but so of the Chayyim Chokim. That's why he attempted to save himself with all his good capacities. And in a miracle of Ramechama, Kfiya Manasein Abshuta. This this concept of preparing for war, according to our simple understanding, is Shabbat Daito Lotzeis the Mechama Liyachim Eisav Ulai Tikbar Yadolav that that he was wanted to go to war with Eisav. Maybe he was able to vanquish him. Morelli is born anew. Um, this allows us to uh, analyze. He used Hegel's Eso Yakum with Iru Pulosub. Okay, Achaz Barbem Sahim, Loyal Zet, Loyal Zet. Were was Yakum uh, unsure that his activities would be successful, and therefore he he, uh, he tried many different uh, means. Perhaps the one doesn't work, the other would work. But by the Shia of Sharbatsu Amarki. That you can't not allowed to, not allowed to say this. The borrow the Choma Shohaya Yaakov Ose Loya Chal Shum Sofe Choma Sofe Yuba Doin. So he says the view from the assertion is that Yaakov Avinu being Yaakov Avinu, what he did he did with a uh, uh, with definitively and not because he was in doubt. I'm not 100 percent sure I agree that that's trying to suck him, but let's see how he develops it. Name we should explain the table to Hanami Tisha Muhammad, and we look at the true the true character of war. Pimakorasha Milchama Milazu, based on the uh, uh, source of this word, Mirish Eno Kvisha Numavinika Ace. It's not like we understand it in our day and age. Shunisayam Ben Shnate Sonim, Nisan Kokos, Nisan Shnate Sonim, it's a test of force of two sides. Me, me, and Bar will be successful. And Muhammad Peru Shah. Mesirus nefesh lozam ba'ad ve'osa ve'munosa. Mechama means a the willingness to um, put oneself in a state of uh, danger for your uh, pr perspectives and beliefs. Uvemes kagayugam lifanim ayugam mechema su most often say. Once in a time, the wars between the nation and the were also about pr pr perspectives and beliefs. They will report religious wars. And the winning was not what was the primary uh, motivation for the war. The primary motivation of the war was the dedication. They are prepared to give their lives for their perspectives. Sounds very much like jihad. <laughs> So it's uh, it, it's obvious. It goes without saying. Shukol yishtal lusho Yaakov. Any uh, all the effort of Yaakov. He not some Esav. The same some Esav. Loya k'moshon u'mevinim. It's like we understand on a superficial level. In yoni yishtal lusho adam. He not some isakon or as he has been up. The efforts made by a person to save himself from danger or to save his children from danger. That lo ayaz de inyan atzol sheep they caught. He was saving the Shvatim, which Akash Baruch Hu intended to use to create Amitra. Um, and uh, evidently, Yaakov would expect that there was no way they would lose that. You see, Hatsileni Ana also on the Yarit Yachim Yarit 
Maybe for my brother. If you read a note, you're stuck on the frame. Pay your boni, your bow, but you can't aim my boni. Because it might come and smite me, mother and children. Can Koki Moshe's father, you're probably about 12 years old. So the entire ex existence of the Shvatim was contingent on this, this on this uh, uh, being saved here. Vain la rabbi l'shem gedol la mizu. So it's not a question. The, the way he interprets it is that the, the war was a war of avodah Hashem. It was Yaakov being willing to display Mesir Nefesh for the cause. There was no question, evidently, of him going to Rebbe Rucham of Yaakov you know, losing the war. The question is whether he had the mysterious Nefesh to wage the war. So the issue was not who was going to win, who was going to lose. He was for sure going to win. But the question is, will he put himself out with the problem of serious Nefesh to be willing to fight for his cause and his ideals? I think that's what he means. Um, that sounds like right. Yaakov. <laughs> Shame my mysterious nephesh. He didn't with all parameters of Hashem, which go until you be willing to give one's life. Evidently, he knew he could get a miracle. Wait, what was saying? He knew he could get a miracle. But he knew the miracle itself is contingent on mysterious nephesh. By Hanani Mishon and Azariah, right? That they were, uh, they, uh, Chazal say, a person should be Moshe Nefesh Shalom, not with, the, not with the intent of getting a miracle, right? I think we had that, right? Yeah. Uh, do we not have that? No, we didn't have that. Um, but that's it says Hanani Mishon and Azariah, first should be Moshe Nefesh not to get a miracle, and if it's Moshe Nefesh not attending the Sunday, get a miracle, a miracle can happen. But the, you need a mysterious Nefesh in order to get a miracle. So Yaakov Avinu knew this, and therefore he prepared himself fully for war in order to uh, get that level of mysterious Nefesh. The mysterious Nefesh ain't no mysterious Nefesh. It's no mysterious Nefesh. The mysterious Nefesh is not a separate mitzvah, which were commanded when we get to the three Averos for, uh, 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 for which you have to keep your life. In any aspect of Rabbi Hashem, not just in the ultimate test. Uh, have to reach that level. She died the Darga, the It's part it's a part and a level in uh, the parameters of Rabbi Hashem. Abraham went out to her with the four kings, Masan Ramsho, with a willingness to give his life. It's because he had gratitude to Lot. It wasn't one of the big three. Abraham was most of the because of reciprocity for Chesed. But not so here, how does this possibly be? How does this work out without Lot of Mysterious Nevesh? is not one of the three big sins which you have to give your life. But however it works with our law, you see from this very, uh, uh, from these words, this very concept. Serious Nefesh is in every aspect of the Serious who am a serious nefesh? A boda in a, these parameters is until the point of a serious nefesh. From no, meaning a serious nefesh means chalek. That's what I'm showing. That there's different parameters of a serious nefesh itself. Monotino the b'shol shavayos also in certain nefesh show al da'as ane. The by the show the three avayos you have to also to be most nefesh expecting a miracle. You have to do it expecting to die. Serious never shall aid so Yaakov of Abraham, he's follow Hashem is Hoshia Silam. And with the Messiah's never shall Yaakov and Abraham, they're willing to Moser Nefesh, but they damn to Hashem to save them. I'm not sure what, what whether, uh, what he's qualifying here. 
כי הוא נשים לו בדם בלשון של ברס. כמו שהוא מיץ. אבל אין מסי כל פרט על פרט שבעברית יש לו יום מסירות נפש. נרי תנועה של עברית לקראת מסירות נפש, והחיות היא רק בגיל של מסירות נפש. How you most are נפש. שבזה מישראל כסף עבור לא נפש אין מספק, אבל זה שם אונפקט מי זה בלי. ועל פי זה מזמן מה שלמה זה הברוך הזכור. עומר רבי פופו רבי, מה יש לו ראשון לישראל כשהוא ניסו? How come in earlier generations they had ניסים? And by our generation, we have no Nisa. If it's going to be, if it's going to be, if it's because of our learning, which is not as comprehensive or as good. But the Shnei, the Rabbi Yudah, who is telling him, and he's talking about it. And the Yudah of Rabbi Yudah, all he learned was Seder Nizok. But I don't come as Nino, Shnei, the Rabbi Yudah, we learned all six of them, the Eon. Because that's the Eon, 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 Because I asked Rabbi Yehuda Buktin when Rabbi Yehuda came upon issues of Uktin, which is uh, the last mission in Shas about Tzum and Tara, but uh, uh, he said, I, "This is not my. Uh, this, this is above my pay grade. I can't tackle this." But but Anon, Kamasnina Buktin, for instance, said that we have certain issues who only learn Uktin. Do Rabbi Yehuda have a shalav chamisane? Rabbi Yehuda, when he took up one shoe, as a mitzvah, it started raining. When obviously when they need rain. Vana comes Serena and Amshin, and we can put ourselves through anguish, to fast, to miss some talking and and uh, uh, prayers. Lace the Ashka Bon. Nobody, nobody pays attention to us. So Amar, uh, no, it doesn't rain. Amar Lace, so he said, Kamoi have Mitzir and Amshay Kush Hashem. The generation of Yehuda, they were most in Nevis Kush Hashem, but all of them are seeing Amshay Kush Hashem. We don't have the Mitzir Nevis. I bring them a very funny example. He saw a non-Jewish woman. He thought was Jew- she was Jewish, but she wasn't Jewish. She was wearing an inappropriate garment in the marketplace. Some say it's red, probably it's a, uh, not sneers. So some of the boss, he saw he, he thought she was Jewish. Come carry me now. You know, he ripped off the garment from her. He going to the cookies half up. He, but then it became clear that she was not Jewish. And he had to pay an astronomical amount of, of, of money for ruining that dress. It's one of Jews, Jews, I believe it was. Um, and uh, he, he, he said about himself, about it, but I should have been more calm and deliberate, not so uh, 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 excitable. But Shema lo, lo yum, lo yum, lo yum, lo yum, it wasn't one of the big three. And the penalty he received would have received anyway would only have been a monetary penalty. But even uh, he had ripped his dress, dress inappropriately, as we saw, he'd have to pay. It wasn't a serious nefesh. Bobby didn't call it a serious nefesh. And nevertheless, they call him a serious nefesh. For he made him a bizarre mashup Samuel L. You see what he said before, she's saving the whole prat, who prat, she reminds her of the Tichlios and the serious nefesh. Every aspect of the Voida has to be to the point of a serious nefesh. And there are various different categories and branches of, of, of um, Mesir's Nevich. Hashem into the pinnacle, which actually requires you to be killed for our Kedush of Hashem. That's what Chazal said. The earlier generations, when there are most of Nevich, Hashem, Hashem, Moshul, and Hashem, there are most of Nevich, and Hashem, and Hashem. They completed themselves in the Abayda Hashem. Mishum says, Zochu and Nisi. Because that's a merit of miracles. The Schir B'nai Yisrael Derech Zeh, Shukim Abayda B'chol G'dorea, is fulfilling the Abayda in all its parameters, Ad Mesir with Nefesh. To the point of Mesir with Nefesh. So, you know, Rabbi Yuchan is saying that Mesir with Nefesh is an integral component of, of all of Abayda Hashem, not just of, of the ultimate, uh, literal Mesir with Nefesh, which is required by Abayda Zarek, you arise in Shukim Zarek. Um, And he's being arrived from Brachas from the so Rabbi Arabavo ripped the, the, the clothing off that woman. Uh, that, that's called by the Gemara itself, Mesir's Nefesh. So you see, Mesir's Nefesh means, like he said in the beginning, a willingness to stand up for one's ideals and perspectives. How far the willingness goes, it's a separate thing. But it has to go all the way over the brink, short of the brink, or not even close to the brink. But that, the way you define Mesir's Nefesh, It's part and part of the definition for war, an ideological war, a war on perspectives, 
and uh, uh, and, uh, and and understand it. So the Messias Nebesh is to be willing to put one's life on the line for the sake of that greater uh, cause, that greater, you know, um, a, a more a greater ideal and a greater purpose. Um, by Hanukkah, the main reason they there was a gzera, a decree against them, is because they were lazy in their avodas Hashem. Therefore, the decree was to nullify from them the avodah. And when they did chuba and they were most their nefesh on the avodah. Oshem Hashem, God save them by day, Kohanim, by the Kohanim of the time. Before me, Dibra Babs, it's different about Shemitchil, Shaloya, it's Lama Sears Nevish, issue when they didn't have a Sears Nevish. Hayo, Ze, it's Lama Mishlon Babado. It was just a weakening of their grip on Abu Yasa Shem. The Abu Yasa Loya saw as Mishlamus, the Abu Yasa was not perfected. The Chaz Shem, Inia Masiris Nevish, the lacking idea of Masiris Nevish, which was manifest in their Yislashes. The Nigzo and Kol Kazeros and Ebola decrees were made against them. Then when they went to war, they wanted to put themselves on the line for that by the Hashem. The Hashem was not in the Hashem for victory, but rather be most on that fish. The Shlim HaSavadosa, and they completed that by the Hashem. That's why they mentioned this, because of the serious nefesh which they had. In order for our to be complete, perfected, that has to be Messias Nebesh, which is the equivalent of being willing to go to war for it. One of the that we say somebody who's willing to forsake his own body for his master. We all the day. Why does it say, listen to Sukhashi? Why is it What's the Naritz? It's a question, right? Why can't we just start with the Kadesh? Says, because we are willing to uh, give over our, our lives, so, souls and lives for you. Uh, uh, that's what it means we're, we sanctify you because we're dedicated to you, we sanctify you. When they didn't take they they needed it or they wanted it. They too did their own form of serious nefesh, which is to toss aside their own bodies and their desires. The serious nefesh is relevant to every detail of that vayda. And that's why it says, when we did not attain the world of greatest, they toss aside their bodies and desires. Tossing aside one body, one desire is also part of a serious nefesh. These are the drawing of Hashem. Shemachayev is a sort of ad serious nefesh, which requires us to have a full measure of devotion. Lord Mishal Shaveh is not just the big three, which are by a borderland, which you have to be killed rather than transgress. But every detail nuance of Torah. What the mysterious nefesh is is different according to the various different levels and categories. Okay, I so I guess what we're supposed to get out of this is uh, what is the title? Mysterious nefesh asking you to have other bashlo matzah. In other words, if if you want you have other shem bishlemus, no aspect of it can be mediocre. No, you, you have to be, give your full force and capacity based on the nature of the mitzvah, obviously. You have to give a full force and capacity in order to do it, and that's Mesir's Nefesh, and that's the Melchama by Yaakov, was this 
to display Masirus Nefesh, the willingness to give up life for ideas and perspectives. So, so you heard well, Yava is just uh, the highest level of the most. Right. But it's but then it's all madregas all the way up. Every right. every mitzvah and every test and every war is is is, is, is also needs mysterious stuff. It's just not as much as the Harvav Yava, but every getter has its own measurement. And uh, it's like it's a little bit like um, the, the Meshachalma says, "I'm a chom odech, I'm a chom nafshu." But he says, "The chom midom, one of the shalim, the chom odech is the chom midom, midom shagosh bochum modim yichar." Every matter of Hashem meets out to you. And I'm paraphrasing, obviously, but the Osama says, in, in some ways, it's easier to die of Kiddush Hashem than to get up every day early in the morning to work. Yeah. Because there's one adrenaline rush, one moment of heroism, and then it's over. But if you get up one day early to learn, the next day I'm doing it again and again. Yeah. And there's no rush yeah. of heroism. So <laughs> you see, the average in a sense is, to do that to the hilt, which is even more difficult in a way than being most in effort with Yeah, <laughs> very good. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Have a good night. Uh, Next week. You too, bye-bye. Yeah.